Hey guys, Justin here, one of the video guys at Thermaltake Australia, and today it's time for a long overdue upgrade. I'll be going from this to all of this. But of course, being a video guy, I'll need to film it. So I'm going to get my little monkey, Nicholas, to build it for me. Take it away, Nick. So the overall goal for this build was basically just to smooth out my editing process, make it a lot more efficient. On my old build, I was often waiting for things to render, waiting for the timeline to load. So I'm hoping just to cut down those little, you know, micro things that would just speed up the whole process. I am strictly not going to be using this computer for gaming, um, just to keep it all clean and separate. So if I'm on the computer, I'm working, I don't have that temptation. I do a lot of video editing. I edit uh, mainly real estate videos from home. Um, obviously, when I'm at Thermaltake, I edit the videos that, that you see on the YouTube channel. But also dabble in wedding videos, um, some corporate interview style videos. Yeah, just a lot of video editing. The only thing that is going to be the downside of this setup is obviously portability. So the build I had before this one was actually a laptop. I've got it right here. So this is a Metabox laptop. This is a quad-core, 32 gig of RAM, uh, GTX 1070 mobile. Um, still does the job, just not super smoothly. I guess the biggest hurdle building the system was just understanding all the parts, all the different specs. Like RAM, you've got clock speed, like your megahertz. Um, then you've also got like the CL and the, the little other numbers, which are like the latency. All the different, you know, graphics cards. Even though they're the same graphics card, there's like 10 different types of them. I did a ridiculous amount of research for this upgrade. Watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, looked up benchmarks. Um, it was a bit overwhelming, actually. There's a manufacturer in the US called Puget Systems who make video editing and 3D rendering computers for companies. So they had a lot of useful articles on their website. Yeah, that was my main source of research. So the easiest decision with this build was the cooling and the power supply. Obviously working at Thermaltake, you know, you get some benefits for working for a computer parts company. So having all the experts, obviously, who work here around me to help me in that decision as well, uh, made the decision both like super easy. In three words, I would describe my system as red and beast. The red beast, there's your three words right there. I think the favorite part of my build is the case. I saw the, the red edition of the, the Core P3, I was like, yeah, that's for me. What I'm most looking forward to with this build is just the, the overall smoother experience it's going to give me in editing. Going from 4 cores to 16 cores, I think it's just going to be great. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the content, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up down here. And if you want to see more stuff like this, more content like this, feel free to subscribe over here. If you have any thoughts about my build or about the video in general, let us know down below in the comments. And maybe if you want to watch something right now, you can click on one of these boxes that are appearing on top of me right now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Sickness. Cool. 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 Cool.